Hey there. I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite negative emotions. Yeah, I know it's kind of a contradiction in terms, but bear with me. First, I'm going to tell you a little story. A long time ago, I used to be part of an amazing group for women artists called No Limits for Women in the Arts. And what No Limits did was it was uh, just for women artists and we would get together in groups locally, regionally, nationally to counsel each other to live the big lives that we wanted to with our art right at the center. So it was a great organization, a great movement, and I had a, a small local group that met every other week at one of our members' studios for three hours. And every single time I would drive to her studio, I would be hit with an enormous wave of envy. Now, she had an amazingly beautiful craftsman house in a beautiful part of town, and her studio was a converted garage that a previous owner had actually turned into a, a beautiful studio space with great light and, and lots of space. And at the time, I was living in a, a two-bedroom kind of dumpy house with my husband uh, in an unhappy marriage and everything about this other artist's space just I wanted it for myself now I didn't not want her to have it I was delighted for her that she had such a beautiful home and such a beautiful studio but I wanted that too and so I just was consumed with envy and it was really uncomfortable now, a very interesting thing happened because during my time as part of that group, my marriage broke up and I got divorced. And I was not making much money when I was married and found myself single and not making much money. And I moved into a teeny tiny little one bedroom apartment with no balcony, no outdoor space, no nothing. And actually the window looked out on asphalt. It was not the most attractive, let's just say, but it was mine. And I was so cramped in that space. It was too small for me when I moved in. If you see a lot of the furniture that I have here actually was in that same space, except that it was just a one bedroom. So I didn't have a living room, basically my studio was my living room. I did have room for a teeny tiny little sofa bed. And so I could pull out the sofa bed and have people spend the night and they could literally sit on the mattress of the sofa bed and work at my computer, check their email on my computer. That's how, that's how cramped it was. But the really fascinating thing was that when I moved into that little apartment in the middle of my divorce, so you know, it was not an easy time in my life, I would go over to Anne's studio for our No Limits meetings and the envy was gone. Now, I still, it's not that I didn't give up wanting a big, beautiful space like that, but it fascinated me that I had been consumed by this horrible feeling eating, eating away at my insides. And now I was living in this teeny tiny little apartment. I wasn't making a lot of money and yet the envy was gone. So what's up with that? Well, I'll tell you what's up with that. What's up with that is that even though I was going through a really rough time in my life, going through a divorce, I was happy. I was on my path. On, on one hand, I was miserable because I was going through a divorce and I didn't know if I'd ever find love again and I didn't even, couldn't even think about that. And 
On the other hand, I was living in my very own space and charting my own course for my life for the first time ever. And that felt so amazing and so right that when I went to somebody else's space that was so beautiful and and so much what I wanted, I didn't feel the lack of it as much, if that makes sense. So all this is to say that envy can actually be a friend because it can tell you what you want and remind you that you get to go after your dreams and when you notice yourself feeling envious you might think about what in your own life needs to change so that you can be happy where you are and it doesn't mean that you have to give up going after your dreams or creating new amazing wonderful things in your life absolutely not but it does mean that you can use that feeling to gauge what's going on with you and to make changes accordingly. So that is why envy is one of my favorite negative emotions. Let me know in the comments if it's one of yours and why or why not. Have a great week. And go get creating!